is going to be played into Rakan Zeri, which doesn't scream priority to me. As now the counter pick for the cannon. What does Clear have for us here in this top lane? Nasus. I think that's. Oh my god, what? they locked it in. They locked in Nasus. Nasus has been locked in. Okay. I thought it was okay. epic. Okay. I thought okay. it was epic okay. for a second. Okay, DRX are going to win. This is, this is the most. What you gonna do now that I've ever seen in my life? I don't know why it makes sense. Uh, lethality, if you can get fed, is, is, a, is a bit more consistent because if Nessa's ever, if you get an auto Nessa's, he can wither you and you're in deep trouble. Well, we've got a little bit of engage here towards bottom lane. Uh, support, pretty good win rate on this uh, Nautilus as he takes a fair bit of damage. Forest lives bottom lane, guys. Um, so it is no surprise that they are down here. As, okay, the, the level, level two. two gank. Oh my god. What a beast. They hit that level two. Wait. Now Port could be in trouble actually as he's flashing. Pleta, he can just dance over the wall if he wants to. Piero, he can't. Um, he will get hit by the Q and he will die. That is first blood going over to Forest. Very nicely done. And T1 already set up here in this bottom lane. Staying here outside of vision in case there is a wart in this river brush, which there is not. Ooh. The wither came through, but he still rushed lightning -y. And maybe this is something that Dull always did, because that can't be the right call if you're playing into Nasus. Well, her rest is good. Yeah, certainly working out thus far. As Dull. Also quite low. Forrest going to see the sponge. And now, look for a Q onto the Nasus. And he's not going to be able to find it, because Sponge stood in the way. Really nicely good played. Good Sponge. Good cover. Absolutely. Now the teleport will bring him back in to the lane. Clear with his null magic mantle and some shoes. Feeling happy. Piero, oh, Piero. In position. Okay. He's got level three. Satab taking so much damage here, and he's actually standing out of range of these charms. Absolutely beautifully done. Piero now gonna have to grand exit, and Satab on a merry jaunt through the enemy jungle. I think he executes, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, uh, executes yes, or SCP. can actually... Oh, okay, will be spotted, yeah, and so yeah. therefore he does have to execute, but he should be able to do that. Can also just go for a back, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, the, the, this is a safer way, given that the death times aren't that long, and if you back and, and they do get you, it's, it's way worse. I kind of like that, you know, it gives you a bit of a breather. As the hook is going to come through here from Bot, Piero. Able to get away, but not before taking way too much damage, and that... Piercing arrow, definitely very scary. Smash, a fantastic Varus player in his own right. As, okay, Q is going to come through here. And I just can't believe that we're in a game with Susan in the top lane, but also Annie and Varus on the same team. I'm, uh, I'm just excited to see uh, what happens when Nasus hits lots and lots of stacks and can just walk around. I know, right? I, I just, it's, I do love it. It actually and, makes complete uh, sense. Is yeah. going to cleanse and is off, and that means that Tibbers doesn't have to get a kill. It's, it, it's cool. such a it's such an Atlas champion as well. You love numbers going up. I do love numbers yeah. going up. I, I think maybe I should be a Susan main. I should just uh, uh -oh. just channel smash Lee Kang. Is that is a really dead smash. Um, but it is gonna eventually be able to get that burst fire to land, and it does hit onto Smash and gives him a kill. You know when you pick Nasus. I can't be I can't be unbiased anymore. It's five games. It's happening. Yeah, I no, can I feel agree. it. I think that's just the respect that you get. But the, like, okay, never mind. Sponge uh -oh. may have sponged it up just a little. Yeah, he sponged it. Oh, slightly. he sponged um, too hard. Yeah. So do you go glove then spirit visage, or do you go uh, glove then I'd say you go force. Hard? Or do you go face check? Fury of the sand. No, he's fine. He's nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's ghosted. He's just wandering. He's gonna get kicked, oh and he's wandering again. God, Look at this. this is what—he's booming them. He's a doggo. You just play fetch, right? You—you you have to run away. You always come back. You have to run away. You come back. Then you get tired. Then you wait for your ghost to come back off cooldown. Then you play fetch again. Oh, yep. Uh, Nessa's with a un, uh, un burdened early game and the uh, Merc. Oh, Merc Trats. Oh, gotta be a little bit careful here. Gotta play out this well as. Oh, Oops. I don't know about this one, T1. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. The hook is going to connect onto the Nasus that doesn't have Fury of the Sands. He Unless? survives for a very long time, but Dal will be able to get his revenge. In the meantime, though, the Ari takes down the Varus. Dal gonna get jumped on here by Pleter, and it could be a Zeri moment. 
The rest of DRX are still alive. They had to sacrifice their doggo, which is very, very sad. Not something you should ever do if you're writing a script for a movie. However, it was... Oh my god, Forrest. That was super sick. They lose their fox as well. That's a lot of animals that are hitting the dust here in this particular game. Oh my god, he's not done. And he's going to find another one there as well. Sponge. Oh god, Forrest, you monster. You absolute beast. And that's a that's an ace. That's heads, heads, heads. Yeah. Oh heads, my god. Heads, heads. That is The man ain't missing today. Um, uh, <laughs> I love the killers. <laughs> what a band. What a, what a lyric. Oh, DRX on an angle. Setting up. Doll might run in. Oh. He checks. He oh, didn't yeah. know. He's extraordinarily dead. Or is he? As uh, Season of Assist comes down. But Sponge is going to eat a bear and does need to Vault Breaker his way out. Clear. Walking around the river majestically. And Fletter looking to clean up. The thing that I'm worried about here for T1 is the Zeri factor. And uh, that was actually a decent amount of value. But he didn't really do anything. From the extendo beam. Yeah, this is all point. They need to win this fight. DRX don't have a shot. Ooh, Otherwise, corruption come through. There is a great dredge line, and immediately the Rakan is just destroyed. Clear this time. Does have Fury of the Sands and does not care about anything die. that anyone is doing whatsoever. Plata collects the kill, and DRX. They're just a freight train. Oh! Bay gets murdered. It's a triple kill. As clear, does he care about turrets? No, he doesn't. He's gonna grab the last kill here as well, and they may. Just walk towards the Baron as Dal is teleporting in. Is any just overrated? Is that what we're learning here? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Who are your damage sources? Smash doesn't get to play the game because he's playing into Rakan and Vi. So Sponge gets on top of Smash, Smash dies. Then you have two AP carries into a fat Nasus and Derry. Well, Bay's just going to get engaged on. The Annie is getting the Annie treatment. By the looks of things, goes golden, but that grand entrance, just amazing. Bay was exhausted, so the Tibbers value, not really there. Dal gonna get murdered as well, and DRX are just steamrolling them. It's happening. It's Give happening. Silver it's a silver scrapes that, angle, Atlas. Oh my god, that is actually the record that Clear has been dropping over and over again on Dal in side lanes. It has just been silver scrapes. But this is one of my most loved R5 picks, and that's his brother, I'm remembering Susan. this one. <laughs> my god. Nasus needs to be banned, absolutely. And Forrest, he like played so well in that last fight. He's now going for a little bit of a battle here. The Blast Cone, kind of in an odd position and clear. Just doesn't care so, about anything that's happening. Yeah, one thing that we do need to note is that uh, one Drake and T1 has Hextech Soul, and they are still only three and a half K gold behind. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just don't know if it's going to matter. Uh, Smash does finish his Runans, but like, if he's not, he's going to do negative damage against Clear as well. Oh, here we go. Here's the flanking teleport. Tib is already in amongst it. Oh, the value, the quickness is just amazing. The kick, but Pleta takes no damage except for now. Dell comes in. He gets a double kill on the bottom lane. And do you know what the Doggo says? The Doggo says bonk, and everyone dies. That's going to be it. Service Grapes, the teleporting to the mid lane. Oh, my goodness, DRX. If there was a way to win this series, this is the way that was mostly not on my bingo card, okay? This game is silly. It's out of control. DRX knew Annie is a trap. They knew all along. Ferris, I guess, also a trap. And there's one thing. You know, drafts, sometimes they don't matter, but sometimes you just get Nassist. Sometimes the Susan effect is too much. Cue up the silver scrapes. We're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. This DRX team, they finally woken up and they said, you guys, you thought you defined cooking here in the Challenger playoffs? Have a Susan. There to be a decent amount of AP, you need it to be an AD carry that can't actually shred through you. I think like a Zeri, for example, would be a lot harder to deal with. But yeah. Varus? Ha! Ha! They had, ha! They had the anti-Varus tech just waiting. Just waiting. Full tank. Oh my uh, did god. Did you vote? No, nah, but it's what? Susan. As Pleter is going to get it on the Zeri. What? Why? Well, he, he, had, he had a great he had a, game. He had a fantastic game. But it's not the... But it's not a dog. Chat, chat, you know what to do. 
We need we riot. <laughs> uh, I, I think that like honestly, I think, I know, the amount of extra, really like, well. 